Are there any more flights to London tonight? No, but I did check the flight manifest for Natalie Banks. Yeah? She missed the London flight. She never showed. You're sure? Yes. Thank you. Sorry, I'm late. Wait, for what? Are you going to London? No. And neither are you. John, don't do this. I have a ticket and my passport and I've made plans. And change them. For what? What are you doing here? Looking for you. Excuse me? Uh, Miss Banks? Yes. Uh, your flight to London's already left. I know. I was hoping you could book me on the next one. Unfortunately, there are no more direct flights. No, that, that, that's okay. However, there is a flight boarding to New York right now. Okay. From there, you could transfer to a transatlantic flight. We're heading for London in a few hours. I'll take it. You don't want to do that. I've already missed one flight tonight. I really have no reason to hang around here. I read the letter. You told me back something to say to come find you. Well, I got something to say. So you want to get on that plane or you want to hear me out? So you read my letter. A little while ago. I dropped it off this afternoon. It got misplaced. When I turned up again, I read it. You never showed up. I got held up. I waited for you for a long time, hoping you'd show. I did. I guess you were late. I figured it was time to give up and move on. And I would have been on that plane to London except Roxy convinced me that I needed to be sure. So I went to the station. I saw you kissing Mark. Yeah, that got back to me too. Roxy. And you should have said something. What was there to say? It seemed pretty clear to me why you didn't show up to Rhodey's. You made a choice. And it wasn't me. That's not what happened. I saw what I saw. That kiss was goodbye. The kiss you saw was part of a bigger conversation. Martin and I got around to... got around to saying some things we couldn't say before. Things that... You don't have any trouble saying. You mean? We were staying together because of the baby. And I still feel really bad about that. A lot of it was true. And we admit that tonight. We were hanging on to something we probably should have let go of a long while ago. Look, I know that Marty means a lot to you. That's why I was going to leave town for good, to let you both be. Marty and I care about each other very much. But it's not enough to be together. You know, if Roxy hadn't convinced me to write that stupid letter to tell you how I feel, I'd, I'd be halfway across the ocean right now. It took a lot of guts for you to write how you felt in that letter. Now it's my turn. I'm only going to say this once, so listen. Listen carefully. I don't know what the hell we've been doing the last few years. But above all others, you belong with me. Something wrong? Can, can you repeat that? Something wrong? No, you idiot. What you said before. I said you belong with me. You look surprised. Yeah. Can you blame me? I know I'm not exactly famous for my conversational skills, but it doesn't mean I don't have anything to say. It's just sometimes a little harder for me to say it. Well, you're in luck. Because you don't mean to say another word.
Now, you want to get out of here? Yeah. I guess it's a good thing the lady missed her flight. Yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, it was. What did happen? Why are we so late? Actually, Natalie's... Yeah, what happened? Did you, uh, did you miss your cab? Um, no, I, I stopped and had a few more drinks. I guess I'm glad you did. Yeah, me. Me too. So where to? Um... I know it's best if I drop you home, Marty's still in my place. Right. Yeah. I should probably sleep this off anyway. We'll figure the rest of this out in the morning. <laughs>